today I'm going to be reacting to my old college art. I think it's really helpful to see where other artists have come from and how they've improved through the years. And I wanted to show you some of the art that I did in college. My name is Janet. I'm an ex-Disney artist turned independent creator. I quit my job to go full-time into my online art business. I made a video reacting to my old high school art. The link will be up here if you want to watch it. If you want more videos like these, make sure to like the video, jingle all my bells and buttons for new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I went to Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California for art school, and I majored in illustration. All right, let's get started. So this is a charcoal drawing of a shirt that I had to do in one of my foundational courses. All the details in this was carved out with an eraser. After we learned how to do tones for a black and white drawing, we then painted the same exact thing in black and white. We then moved on to color but with a limited palette just to put, you know, some of the training wheels on. So this is a master copy of a sergeant painting. This is the original over here and this is the master copy. You are not allowed to grid things out. You're supposed to just try to copy it as best as possible. Master copies are honestly the fastest way to learn how to do anything. Once we were done with the master copy, all the training wheels were basically lifted off. So this was an in-class workshop painting. We are only given like an hour or two hours to paint a whole scene. We basically learned the process of how to create an illustration. This was the first part of the process Process where you create a drawing out of your idea. I think the prompt was tell a story through an illustration of a prank. And then next would be the color study. The prank for this one is there is a plastic basketball toy thing instead of an orange. This is another variation. We had to do more than one in one week. The story in this one is that someone used shaving cream as whipped cream to prank someone. This was the final illustration. I didn't go with any of those ideas. I went with a complete new prank. The story behind this is the person is gluing their nails on, but their eye drops are right on their bedside table and without their glasses, the eye drops and the glue look a little too similar. We had to do the same thing for our final. We had to tell a story in the illustration of a crime that was about to be committed. This is the color study and I think the crime that I came up with was drinking and driving. So in the background there's a car and you see indications that there are beer cans in the car. This is the concept I eventually went with which is a stalker. Once you've chosen your concept you have to do color studies of the scene at different times of day. This is the person's room who's being stalked. They have emails from their admirer and letters and flowers and gifts, but then in the window there, there's a car and the stalker is right outside. So what's about to happen? Early on, we also learn how to paint in oil and we start with sepia tones first. As we move into color, we start with a still life. Then in class, we have live models where we start painting in full color. I think this one was done near the end of the class and you can see, I get a whole lot better. And at the very end, we start painting more of the full figure to get us ready for a lot more complicated classes in the near future. I really like this one because I really like how I painted her tattoo on her back. Some more portrait paintings from my portraiture class. Even though I was a storyboard artist professionally, I was trained in illustration. So I painted a lot, like a lot, a lot. This class is typically taken later on, but you know me, I don't follow the rules. That's exactly why I am who, who I am. and. I guess I was destined to quit Disney. There are no rules in college, not really. At this point, I get pretty proficient at painting portraits. This was a landscape painting. We had to learn how to use gouache in this class. A lot of these paintings were done on site at the local Arboretum, another one that I did in a more realistic style. So eventually I took Gary Meyer's advanced sketching for illustration class. Gary Meyer is a legendary illustrator. I think he is retiring now. So sucks for all you young art center students who will never get to learn from him. So those early paintings that were done in like under an hour, this is the advanced class. And this also was done probably in two or three hours around the same amount of time. Another painting from the same class. I really like this one because all the background stuff here wasn't actually there. Some of it was, but eventually I got good enough to just make stuff up. I really like the lighting on this one because we were challenged to paint something that was 
backlit. I really like all the details I got in her skin and in her costume. Another one from the same class. I really like how I was able to paint the flesh and all the textures in her dress. So now I'm gonna show you some drawings that I have saved in my computer. This was for a class called Dynamic Sketching. I took it three times. These were some of the plants that we drew at the Arboretum. We also have the benefit of this amazing car museum in Southern California. And our school is kind of known for designing cars, so we have to draw a lot of cars. This is from my perspective sketchbook. These drawings were done super early on in my learning education. So as you can see, my perspective is not there yet. Like I said, we had to draw a lot of cars. I hated drawing cars and any kind of inorganic industrial object before going to Art Center. Now, it's just kind of second nature to me. To get the hang of drawing animals, we go to the Natural History Museum first before heading to the zoo where the animals move. This was a drawing of a vulture that I did at the Natural History Museum. Also, before we even get to the Natural History Museum, we have to do some studies from photos first. One of the things to really get us to learn how to use pen and ink really, really, really fast is again, to do master copies. And finally, we headed to the zoo and I drew zebras. <laughs> These zebras are a little wonky looking. One of the amazing things that you get to draw when you go to the Natural History Museum is dinosaur bones, old extinct animal bones. One of the things we were tasked to do in this class was to create building facades. Once we are done ideating, we then finalize it. So this is my finalized gentlemen's club design. We then had to learn a very simple modeling program called Google SketchUp. I basically modeled my buildings out and placed them in a scene of a police car pulling up in the alley of the gentlemen's club. Near the end of the class, we had to draw a bunch of storyboards. This is a panel from one of the storyboards of a flyover. This assignment was specifically geared towards drawing planes and different perspectives. I drew this plane coming in and seeing this weird robotic alien thing. I think we were supposed to draw a bunch of different types of planes. One of the things we had to design in this class was also a treehouse design. So I went a little extra. I didn't have to do this, but I painted my treehouse. We also had to draw the interior of the treehouse and design all the little unique trinkets and props that would go into this treehouse. More cars, <laughs> more sketchbook drawings. We had to do many every single week. And this is the art center cafeteria. I'm sure that gives some of you PTSD. I get a whole lot better at this as I go on compared to those early perspective drawings. This is my childhood kitchen. Some more cafeteria drawings at art center. I was just at school. I was just at school all day long and I, just drew all day long, every waking second. Those are my drawings from my early foundational years at Art Center. If you want to learn how to use social media to grow your online business, check out my free guide, Eight Steps to Launch Your Online Store. Head over to honeynapson.com to buy some merch to help support this channel. I'm currently wearing the Reach shirt today. Check out these videos next if you want to watch more drawing videos. If you like the video, like the video, jingle all my bells and buttons for more art and entrepreneurship type videos and don't forget to dare to dream.